Southern blotting, also known as Southern hybridization, is a technique used for the detection and quantification of specific DNA levels using a hybridization DNA probe. Southern blotting makes use of the gel electrophoresis method. The steps involved in Southern blotting are as follows. Isolation or separation of DNA. The isolation process is done by extraction. Afterward, the purified genomic or plasmid DNA is partially digested by a restriction enzyme, restriction endonucleases. These enzymes cut double-stranded nucleic acids at certain sequences. The resulting mixtures of different sized linear fragments are then loaded side by side into wells formed in an agarose gel. Separation is done according to size. After this, the DNA is now negatively charged. The DNA is then transferred to a solid membrane. The membrane, driven by capillary forces, is exposed to intense ultraviolet UV, light to induce DNA cross-linking. Since the DNA fragments are double-stranded, they have to first be denatured by pretreatment with an alkaline solution, typically containing sodium hydroxide. Hybridize the probe to the membrane. The radiolabeled probe is added to the blot membrane in a buffered saline solution containing a small percentage of detergent and non-fat milk or BSA. Under gentle agitation, the probe molecules are allowed to bind for a period of hours. The recommended final DNA probe concentration is 2 to 10 ng ml. After hybridization, the membrane is rinsed repeatedly in several changes of buffer to wash off any unbound nucleic acid probe in order to avoid unspecific background signals. The membrane with the probe specifically bound to the DNA is then dried, exposed, detected and analyzed by autoradiography or using a phosphorimager apparatus.